This unmanned flying device is spying for science. Scientists at the Jülich Research Center use the little remote sensing drone to assist their research on plants. They've been growing new types of energy crops on their test field. The bird's eye view provides the best vantage point for judging which crop will generate the most biomass for making fuel. It's an elegant surveillance method, especially when the weather plays along. It's always fun to watch it and to see the pictures afterwards. But the really exciting thing for us is the data we get from these images. One of the bigger research projects at Jülich is the future of the world's energy supplies. That includes plants that can be turned into biofuel. Which crops are best, which ones grow fastest and most uniformly? These pictures from above are fairly unusual. Outdoors I generally have the familiar aspect of a normal field, but from above I get a completely different view of the homogeneity of this crop. Images taken at different wavelengths show the scientists how efficiently the plant's photosynthesis is working, which nutrients they need, and how fast they grow. The challenge is to find a way to grow energy plants without occupying fields that are needed to grow food crops. Species like the North American cup plant could help put an end to the competition between fuel and food. With these plants we're trying to avoid that conflict, because with these plants we can go on to marginal soils, poor soils that are not suitable for food production. Here in their greenhouse, the researchers test the growth under laboratory conditions. They can check 500 plants a day in the fully automated facility. The aim is to find varieties with the highest yield and the greatest resistance and breed them as energy crops. An important indicator is root growth. A specially developed CT scanner shows this clearly. Energy plants need strong roots because after the harvest, they have to grow back quickly. Ulrich Schur has built up a network of research institutes and universities. The goal is to integrate basic research results into agricultural practice. The scientists believe modern plant research has a huge potential for the future, and they're optimistic about the possibility of replacing fossil fuel with biofuel without making more people go hungry. In the future, there'll be a whole series of plant species that we can use. Energy crops, food crops, we'll have a great diversity of different plants. There isn't going to be just the one plant that can do it all, but we'll have different plants for different applications. In that vision, common grain plants would no longer be used for energy. At most, the waste left over after harvesting food crops could be processed into fuel. Even straw can be used to produce fuel, either as an additive for gasoline or as pure bioethanol. The scientists at Jülich are especially interested in energy crops that grow on poor soils. That way, they can ensure that valuable acreage for food plants won't be sacrificed. Energy from the field. The German government also sees a big future for the concept and is pouring generous funding into research in this area.